Hi everyone, it's Heather and welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, I guess you could say that this weekend was the official start to garage sale season since there was more than one garage sale going on. Uh, but I don't have too much to show you guys because it wasn't really that eventful. But um, I do have some sales that I can show you guys too. So there was nothing going on Friday. I went out Saturday, had to take my daughter with me because my husband and my son were both um, out of the house. So thankfully she behaved and she was really good. She told me that the reason she behaved so well was because it wasn't hot yet. <laughs> she could not take the heat at all. I mean literally, once it hits 70 or above, she's done. She really hates it. Her face gets all red, she's miserable. Ugh. Okay, so, um, of course, I bought some coffee mugs. Um, most of them were at this barn sale. It was the last one that I went to. And um, I would have actually gone there first because it was really big. But they advertised it more as a, a horse tax sale. And I don't have a horse and I don't need horse tax, so I went there last and they had one whole other outbuilding that was strictly like regular garage sale stuff so I was a little ticked about that but anyway I got some mugs these were all 25 cents a piece um, these two are based on quilt patterns they're from Dansk the quiltings line and then this is the title down there ruby flowers and Trieste I don't know. Um, might make might make ten a piece on them. Might have to put them together eventually. I don't know. Uh, got Grover here for twenty five cents. I always buy anything Grover because he's really popular. This is a plastic mug by Applause. And then this one, there's a few on eBay, but this one actually has um, a watcher right now. So um, I have it up for nine ninety nine. I might have to reduce the price eventually, but I just thought it was. Really cute for any music lover. It's uh, from 1984. And the other stuff I bought at that sale was I bought this candle snuffer, which just might take me a little while to sell. But it's all pewter with this eagle on the front, and it's not going to focus. But that says Hudson Pewter. Hudson and then Pewter in really, really tiny letters. I've sold some of their pieces before, but obviously like the figurines and stuff do a lot better than these kind of utilitarian pieces like this. Um, then oh, I also got a Henkel's knife there with a brown hardwood handle instead of the regular black. It's an 8 inch carving or utility knife. It's a little scuffed, but I mean it's in good condition. I got it for 50 cents. Can't pass that up. And let's see, went to another like, uh, neighborhood sale. Or I think there were only three houses in the neighborhood that were actually selling stuff. But at one house, I bought this double deck of playing cards. These are the Congress Designer Series and one of these is, whoops, one of these is still sealed. Uh, I think originally these came with a score pad, but this is just the deck, so I don't know how well this will do. But I paid 50 cents. And then I got another mug there for 50 cents. This one's really cute. It's this Calico Cat. Nice figure old mug, but when you look down inside, there's a little mouse peeking out of the bottom. And it's from Pier 1. Pier 1 stuff, um, not always, but usually does fairly well. Uh, it says cat mouse surprise mug and yes there is one more mug <laughs> sorry guys but it, it was really slim pickings this weekend I got this guy he's um, a beverage buddy from uh, let's see Oneida and it's a hand painted latte mug with removable cover and this is the Christmas cat he's got a wreath around his neck and his whole head is the cover to keep everything warm. Brand new in the box, got him for a buck. Have him up right now for $9.99, but if he doesn't sell this week at auction, I'm gonna probably 
raise the price to like fourteen ninety nine and just leave it there, and somebody will eventually buy it, even if it has to, even if I have to wait till close to Christmas. And this was a pretty good deal. This is something I've never bought before. This is a Audio Technica ATR thirty vocal instrument instrument. Bleh, can't say instrument <laughs> microphone. Um, brand new in the box has a 16 and a half foot cable that's also with it so um, it's a really nice piece it was only two bucks and I think I can get about 30 out of it so that's up for sale right now actually everything that I bought this weekend is up except for um, a couple things and I might actually um, keep one of those which is this right here we went to a neighborhood sale and I wasn't paying any attention to who was running the sale I was just kind of focused on what they had and my daughter was waiting in the car because <laughs> if I can park by the driveway and I can see her I let her stay in the car and read a book unless that house has pets then she bolts out of the car like a bat out of hell because she wants to see the animals so I looked around and I saw these Nike sneakers, brand new in the box, and she wanted 10 bucks for them. So I went back to the car to check on my daughter and uh, I was also researching the shoes and got back in the car and she goes, oh, you didn't find anything? I said, well, I might go back up in a minute. I said, I got to look something up. And she looks up the driveway and she goes, you lied to me. I said, what are you talking about? She goes, there's a dog in that driveway. And I looked up and a dog was coming out of the garage. I said, well, there wasn't a dog there two minutes ago. She said, well, we're getting out of the car. <laughs> so she jumps out of the car and goes to see the dog. And I'm looking down at her and I'm not paying attention again. And all of a sudden I hear this voice go, oh, Nolan, don't you remember her from preschool? And I just thought to myself, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> because I knew exactly who it was. It was this woman who obviously is the mother of Nolan who went to preschool with my daughter and I nicknamed her Capri Pants because she always, always wore Capri Pants even when it was freezing, at least the vast majority of the time. She was one of those overly preppy, overly perky people that just gets on my last nerve. So I said hello to her and was hoping that she didn't want to like talk to me for any length of time and then I gave her 10 bucks for her brand new Nikes and got out of her driveway as quickly as possible um, now I could probably make 30 to 40 on these but I actually need a new pair of sneakers and I tried them on and they fit me <laughs> so I might end up keeping Capri Pants as sneakers oh we'll see because since, I think, December 1st, except for our vacation, I have been on the treadmill every single solitary day. I have not missed one day except for our vacation. So, pretty proud of myself. I've never actually exercised that consistently before in my entire life. Um, okay, what else did I buy? I'm forgetting something. Oh, here it is. I went to an estate sale yesterday. And it stunk, and all, they had all these great pictures, and I got there, and there was nothing. But I did end up buying this. Um, he wanted three bucks for it, which I thought was a little much. Anyway, it's a cross-stitch em embroidery kit. Pablo Picasso, Blue Dove with flowers. That's the only reason that I even picked it up. Brand new in the package, so I still have to list that. We'll see what that does. And last but not least... I have some sales to show you guys. Um, this is a Bausch & Loam magnifying bar. Uh, it's it's a little, it's even a little chipped up in spots, which you probably can't see. But I don't even know how much I paid for this, like next to nothing. Sold this for $9.99 with free shipping. Then I tried to sell this little Yankee jersey of my daughter's at the consignment sale a couple weeks ago, but for some reason it didn't sell. 
And I had a decent price on it. It was only seven, which I usually don't even charge that much for my stuff. But anything Yankee related, um, I put a little higher. So I came home, put it online, and I sold it for after shipping. I probably made about $16 on it. So I'm happy it didn't sell at the consignment sale. Sold this egg coddler for $10. I think I probably paid a quarter for it. Maybe 50 cents. This is um, Royal Worcester. Sold some more silverware, but it's wrapped up in bubble wrap. This was actually a return. I think the guy bought the wrong pattern or something. So he sent it back. I refunded his money. I put it back up there and it sold within like a day. So this is um, four salad forks and I sold them for $15. And sold this Dimensions Gold Collection bookmark um, kit. Sold that for 13 and that's going to Russia. And let's take this out of here. Sold some more flatware. This is a whole set that I bought, I think, last last season. It's Dansk, it's Tuscan Garden, which apparently is not a popular set because I couldn't find any information on it anywhere. But it's it's really nice. Brand spanking new, never been used. Um, so I put it in my store for $50 and sold it for $50 on Friday and I paid three for it. So it was a good profit on that. And last but not least was my big home run of the weekend. It was this lampshade. I bought this probably two years ago, but I didn't know much about it and didn't feel like listing it and got lazy about it and it just kept sitting on my shelf. And finally I decided it was taking up too much room and I was going to sell it. So I started to do a little research and realized that this is a glass shade for like an Aladdin oil or kerosene lamp. It also fits what they call student lamps. So this is a, a 10 inch. I guess they go by the, the diameter on the bottom. And from what I could tell, it was milk glass and it was cased in pink, which means that there's another layer of glass <clears throat> that they put onto the base glass. Uh, it has a chip right here, but that's pretty much it. It's in really nice shape. So I put it up there for 70 with free shipping just to see what would happen because pink is one of the seems to be one of the rarer colors but then I had one guy in the middle of the auction ask me can you 100 percent guarantee that this is case glass and that the pink isn't just painted on like some of the shades you know I guess he said they're usually painted and I told him I couldn't 100 percent guarantee because I'm not a glass expert but from what I could tell and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like there's two distinct layers of glass there in my opinion. So I went back to him and I told him that I thought, I was pretty sure it was cased. But he didn't end up bidding, which was good because he sounded picky. But anyway, I was watching the end of the auction last night while I was watching TV with my husband and my daughter. And it had gone up to 71 earlier in the day and I was happy with that. And then in the last minute it jumped to 89. I was even happier about that. And then about 10 seconds before the auction ended, it really jumped and went to 147.50. So I almost fell off the couch. I was ecstatic. Um, and I'd be even more ecstatic if the guy would pay me because he didn't pay me yet. But I got 147.50. Hopefully he'll be happy with it. And he's only in New York, so I save a little on the shipping. And I paid a whopping five bucks for this a couple years ago. And I remember exactly where I bought it, which I can do with the, most of my stuff. I don't know. Am I crazy? Do you guys remember like where you bought most of your stuff? Or is that just some weird Rain Man thing I have? I don't know. But I can look at just almost anything on my shelves in my eBay room and go, I remember where I bought that and that and that and that and exactly what I paid for it. I don't know. 
Although I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, but I can remember where and when I bought stuff. So that's it for me today, guys. Um, thank you for all your comments and welcoming me back. And um, I tried to answer everybody. So keep the comments coming. Keep pressing the like button. Um, there's those one or two people that keep pressing dislike. I don't know why they keep watching. Just go away. <laughs> but that's it for me this week, guys. Um, and there's another older video that I forgot to load that will be up this week also from like late in the fall. Uh, telling the story of how I almost killed myself uh, garage sailing. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week and good luck with your sales. Bye-bye.